Hello and welcome back to another game animation sample tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to change our post search database animations for those ones that we're missing, like this run diagonal with our rifle. And we're going to use the existing Lyra animations and customize these run animations so that we get this result here. So first things first, I'm just in the sample project and I've just got pistol and rifle animations here. I'm going to do this jog and we're going to do the jog left. So I'm going to duplicate that because I've already got itself on left and this will be jog left base. And I'm just going to shift it out into my content browser so that I can see where it is. I need to open that up and it's a bit counterintuitive, but we need to untick enable root motion and force root lock. And then you'll know that it's working correctly because when you drag the animation out into the world and so let's simulate like this, it'll move. And if we don't do that, if we just say enable root motion, then it'll stay still. And we want it to move because we want to make sure that we're matching the distances. Okay. So next thing to do is we're going to grab out our, so this is our top half and we're going to grab out the bottom half of our animation. So we're going to want our motion matching data. So we're just going to come to the post search database characters, UFN animations, motion matching data, dense. Then we're going to go to our runs, our run loops, open that up. And we want this LR to LL, L foot. That one will do. We're going to duplicate that because we need to change the root motion and everything on there. And then we're going to drag that into our content browser, just the top level. So we've got this shuffle run just here. And if I click play, you can see it's doing it in place. So we need to come in here and change that. So we're going to root lock, force root lock, like that. Click save. And then we can simulate it again. And we can see that it's actually running this time, which is what we want. So next, I'm going to come up to this little clacker board here. And we're going to click add, add level sequence, click save. And that, that that's that bit done really. Okay. So after that, then we're going to come to the add button. So we're going to select this character here. We click add, add to sequence. And we're going to add it and it'll appear here. So this is putting the animation onto our sequence node. Then we're going to right click the top bit where it says M neutral or your animation name and bake to con control rig, FK control rig. And this will add in all the bones and all the locations of the bones and rig it to our skeleton, the animation. But you'll notice just about here, it refreshes and stops. And that's because this animation is only 85 frames long. 87 frames long. So we're going to need to go to our default level, find 87 and move this red line all the way to 87. Okay. So that doesn't play twice. It just plays the one time and then loops or, or stops. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to select the other animation that we've got in our world, select add, add to the sequence, add jog left base. And again, we're going to right click and bake that to the control rig as well. Okay. We don't need to reduce the keys. We don't need to export anything. We just want the control rig. Like so. And now we can, if we play them both, we can see that they're both running side by side and we can see all of the bones for both of them. Might just need to move this red line just a little bit more. There we go. So it stops there. Okay. So next we're going to select jog left base 
and we're going to we're going to come to the anim outlier oh, mine wasn't there so i did a window and did a load layout default editor layout and then reselected the level sequence and drop this down to animation mode and it's there and i want spine 2 all the way down to head 2 make sure not to get any of the thighs or the calves because that's all the bottom half and make sure it's on the correct one so this is on the run shuffle so I don't actually want that I want the jog left base so spino 2 all the way to head 2 and I can see that it's selected the little bits in this character it's made them yellow and where it stops or splits it's still white so you can see it stops just about here which is fine we're going to click on this little squiggly arrow which is the curve editor like so and then drag a box and get all of those and copy them so control c and just zoom out to make sure you've not missed any at the top so we've not that's fine once we've done that, we're going to come to the neutral run and we're going to make sure that we're on the right one. So neutral run, I'm going to select spine. We're going to go down all the way to head. I'm going to select the squiggly line. We're going to grab all of these curves just here and delete them. Again, scroll out so there's none there. And we're going to press control V to put in the other curves. So let's save. So now we can already see that it's changed slightly. When we play these animations, we're going to have the shuffle and our top half is holding the rifle in the same position. Like so. So this is very similar to the layered blend per, uh, per bone that you can do in the ABP. But this is all done inside the post search database, which makes it just a little bit smoother. And it uses the technology of sort of game animation sample, but it is long because you'll need to do this for every animation to get the, the perfect look as it were. Next to finish this off, we're just going to delete jog left base. And now we're left with this neutral run. We're going to right click neutral run. We're going to bake it to an animation sequence. And this is the left left shuffle run rifle. I'll click OK. Export to animation. And then it will be here. So I'll put it, like I said, I'll put it in a content browser for ease. You put yours wherever you want. Next thing is where we open up the neutral shuffle run. And we're going to grab these things, all the curves, click copy, and then we're going to open up the one that we've just made, and we're going to add the curves in here, and then we reopen that one and grab all of these events here, because they're already pre-programmed, press control, open up the shuffle run that we've got, and we're going to paste them at the top, like so. And you might just need to fiddle with them to put them in the right spots. But now we've got the sound playing and everything is fine. So then we can come to our post search databases and replace the shuffle run that we may have disabled to make our left run properly and replace it with this brand new animation that works and is holding the rifle. Looks so. So just to show you how easy this is, I'm gonna do one more. So I've already got this jog left base that I want to use, and I'm gonna to go to blueprints, I'm gonna to go to characters, mannequin, animations, motion matching, runs, loops. I want to get the front left run here. So I'm gonna Duplicate that, move it to my 
top level content folder. Find it again. Open it up. Take out the root motion stuff. So we don't need that. And then simulate. And they're both moving. Now the reason I'm doing again is because I want to edit this animation instead. So I want to change a couple of bits about it so it's a little bit more rotated and looks a little bit nicer. Okay. So I'll show you how to do that as well. We've got run loop F. We're going to bake it to a control rig. Same as what we did before. Check that it's not resetting. It is. So we're just going to check the frame rate on that. You can see that this one's about 75. So we find 75, come here, and put it to 75. Probably a little bit earlier. Make sure it's bang on 75. We don't want it to jump back. So like that. Sweet. And then we're going to grab this actor, add it, add jog life base, bake it to a control rig. Yep. It's like that. And then we're going to get its skeleton. So not the run loop. Make sure you bake both of them to the control rig. And then, yeah, we've got run loop and jog left base as well. And then we can see they're moving. So we want jog left base. And we want the spine all the way down to head to click on a little squiggle line, grab all of these, control C, go to run loop. Spine to grab all of these little wiggly lines. So grab all the curves, delete the existing ones, control V, the new ones in. Click save. And that's the basic setup done. So if I just click off this so you can see, you can now see that he's running and holding the rifle. In the direction that we want. Now you can change this and there's a very good, a very good animation tutorial by Freepeat in general. So you should definitely watch that. But I'm going to show you a very quick, very easy way. I just did it the wrong one. I did. So we'll get rid of this jog base. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to find the spine two. Spine one, spine oh one two, and we're going to come to this curve tool here and get the rotation, the yaw, and the pitch. Open those up, delete those, select yes, and then we're going to add a key. So press this button to add a new key. And then, so I just want this to be turned slightly. Add a key here. And then from here, again, just want this to be turned to add that key here as well. So, as he's running, he's going to be turning just here. So it's already turned and we can do this with an extreme value. So let's do this and um, let's go to our curves here and let's just delete those for a sec. And we'll do a ridiculous value like that. And we'll press the spine like so. And then we'll have him come around this way like so. We'll add that in. So as we rotate around, 
So you can see we start here and we rotate all the way around until we end up here. So obviously that's a ridiculous sort of concept, but you get the point. So we'll just undo that and set it to be as we wanted it before. There we go. So it stays rotated round as we're running. And if we want to, we could even get the neck. So where's the neck? Neck, neck, neck. I'll go back to here. And turn the head slightly. So we're going to want the rotation pitch and your get these keys, delete them, press save, come here. We want to add a new key for that. And then over here, add a new key as well. So now as we rewind, the head stays in that position and rotates to it as we move through the animation. And then all we do is right click, bake animation sequence, and this is run loop rifle FL. Click OK and Export it again and make sure you find it. So here it is. We're going to open that in a new window. We're going to get all of these events. Doesn't let you do both events and curves at the same time, it seems. So we'll grab the curves separately, paste them in there, like so. And that's that bit done. And then we just need to replace them in our post search database. So run loop rifle FL. Make sure when you add them, we enable everything again. And it'll T pose while it's finding the animations and setting up. There we go. There's the shuffle that we set up. And here's the rifle 